I'm here in London. I think it's about, I don't know, six o'clock, something like that. Um, and I've just woken up to Christoph telling me that the eucalyptus tree is down, the wall is broken, our gate is broken, all sorts of debris all over the place because of Storm Kieran. <sighs> this is going to be really fun to deal with. Hello everyone, um, this is a very very short video today. I'm back from the UK after visiting my family for the first time in I think maybe about a year. Had a lovely time but obviously came back to the devastation that is Storm Kieran and we've lost a couple of trees, we've lost a wall, um, we've lost gates. Um, we're very very lucky that we didn't lose roofs. We know people that have had no power for four or five days. Uh, obviously, there are people who've lost everything. So whilst I'm standing here complaining, there are people out there who are far worse off than us. But I'm just going to walk you through basically some of the storm damage now. So this gate is completely broken. Normally, it's held back by this. You can see bits of wood here. I mean, I'm not even sure if I can open the gate without it falling apart completely. without the metal pole behind, will it stay there? There's nothing for the pole to actually grab onto because it's been ripped off by the storm. And this is a very old gate, very, very old. And this is also a listed property. So this gate is gonna have to be, well, patched up in some way, but patched up sympathetically. It's not a case of just putting a bit of chipboard on it. And also a lot of the plant pots have been blown off of the ledges, the window sills, and we've lost a barbecue that way. Christoph is obviously absolutely devastated about that. And it looks like the gate from the cottage is broken too. I mean, that's a relatively easy fix. It's not so bad. But yeah, oh, the bin's over as well. So yeah, that's going to need fixing up. Look at that. I mean, that just goes to show you the force of Storm Kieran. Unbelievable. I mean, it's almost clean right off. the archway in here seemed to survive because it's obviously in a bit more of a sheltered space. That's good because I've only just done it. So we're waiting now for the insurance assessor to come round and obviously assess the damage and you know how it is. You're only insured until you claim. I'm pretty sure that the insurance will do absolutely everything they can not to pay us because that's what they'll do to everybody else here. Um, 
I, I do know that once they've come and visited, we can at least chop this wood up here for firewood. Um, and that can season for a year or two and we can use that in a couple of years time for heating that. That's the only good thing out of this. But yeah, I, I think we got away pretty lightly considering that the whole tree could have gone over and it could have gone over onto the chapel and obviously onto the orangery as well. But yeah, this has not been fun and this has not been a good gift to come back to, unfortunately. beautiful wood. I'm sure that once it's left to season for a year or two it will be great in the fireplace. This is eucalyptus. It makes a beautiful rustling sound. Ah, I hadn't actually realised it was as bad as this. Okay, so the tree's been uprooted and obviously that's taken part of the wall with it. What a shame. So we've lost another tree. Again, there is some kind of silver lining in that we can have this chopped up and stored as firewood, but even so, losing a lovely tree like that that survived uh, Lord knows how long is a real shame. And we'll have to get the, the wall redone. I have no idea what that white thing is on the pond over there. But we're actually quite lucky that we still have ducks, to be honest with you. I mean, they must have been absolutely petrified, poor things. The water level is very, very high, though. I know it sounds ridiculous, but, you know, I really just could have done without this, to be honest with you. I wanted to have a nice time in England with my family, come back and just get on with some jobs and some artwork. Hi guys, yeah, I've just fed you. Um, <laughs> I think they're pleased to see me. But yeah, you know, I, I just didn't expect to come back to a wrecked garden. So, yeah, welcome home, Christine. And now it's raining. I do so love living in Normandy. Oh, it's fabulous weather.